SKS di dalam kurikulum dengan visi menjadi fakultas yang unggul di bidang pengajaran, penelitian, pengabdian kepada masyarakat dalam mempersiapkan pendeta-pendeta yang berkomitmen tinggi berdasarkan falsafah pendidikan Kristen Advent se-Asia Tenggara pada tahun 2020. Keunggulan Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia diantaranya Fakultas Filsafat Unai menggunakan bahasa Inggris dalam berkomunikasi dan berinteraksi. Lalu, kami juga melakukan kegiatan malam PHD atau pendeta hari depan pakai bahasa Inggris juga loh. Kemudian ada Bible Reading Marathon, Bible Camp, Field Trip, studi banding ke kampus lain, dan ada juga seminar bulanan, yaitu tentang kepemimpinan, pengembalaan, serta penelitian Alkitab yang melibatkan narasumber yang berpengalaman. Kemudian ada juga pelayanan masyarakat di sekitaran kampus. Ada pelayanan ke rumah sakit, panti jompo, panti asuhan, dan panti rehabilitasi. Di sana kami membantu secara spiritual dan material. Di sana kami mendoakan dan menguatkan serta meningkatkan kerohanian. Dan ada juga nih kegiatan praktek lapangan yang dilaksanakan pada akhir semester 2, 4, serta 6. Seperti menjual buku pada tingkat 1, ekstensi pada tingkat 2, dan field school pada tingkat 3 Yang bekerja sama dengan Uni Indonesia Kawasan Barat, Sabah Malaysia, dan juga negara-negara lain Keunggulan dalam bidang akademik, mahasiswa bisa diajak bekerja sama Untuk go internasional dengan melakukan penelitian bersama dosen Yang telah dipublikasikan baik nasional maupun internasional Melakukan kerjasama antar universitas yang ada di berbagai negara Fakultas Filsafat Unai memiliki dosen yang berpengalaman Dan memiliki gelar doktor serta master dalam bidangnya yang telah lulus dalam sertifikasi dosen pemerintah Keunikan yang lain, mahasiswa dapat berkuliah sambil bekerja Untuk menambah biaya perkuliahan selama berkuliah Dan yang menambah keunikan di Fakultas Filsafat Unai Kami memiliki mahasiswa Yang berasal dari berbagai daerah Baik nasional maupun internasional Memiliki alumni Yang bekerja di dalam Serta di luar negeri Kemudian mahasiswa yang berkuliah Dapat terbantu dengan Menerima beasiswa dari kampus Alumni maupun pemerintah Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia Adalah tempat di mana saudara akan ditempa, dipersiapkan menjadi pelayan atau pemimpin di dalam organisasi gereja Masih Advent hari ke-7. Maka sekarang dan masa yang akan datang, let's come and join bersama kami di Fakultas Misafat Universitas Advent Indonesia. Nah, jadi gitu beberapa kegiatan dan perkenalan tentang Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia. Semua kegiatannya keren kan? Yuk join dan sampai jumpa di Fakultas Filsafat Unai tahun ini. Salam Filsafat. Saya Pendeta Dr. Alvin C. Hendricks, selaku Dekan Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia. Fakultas Filsafat Unai memiliki satu program studi yaitu ilmu filsafat yang terakreditasi B, serta memiliki 152 SKS di dalam kurikulum dengan visi menjadi fakultas yang unggul di bidang pengajaran, penelitian, pengabdian kepada masyarakat dalam mempersiapkan pendeta-pendeta yang berkomitmen tinggi berdasarkan falsafah pendidikan Kristen Advent se-Asia Tenggara pada tahun 2020. Keunggulan Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia diantaranya Fakultas Filsafat Unai menggunakan bahasa Inggris dalam berkomunikasi dan berinteraksi. Lalu, kami juga melakukan kegiatan malam PHD atau 
Bapak Pendeta hari depan Pakai bahasa Inggris juga loh Kemudian ada Bible Reading Marathon Bible Camp Field Trip Studi Banding ke kampus lain Dan ada juga seminar bulanan Yaitu tentang kepemimpinan Pengembalaan Serta penelitian Alkitab Yang melibatkan narasumber yang berpengalaman Kemudian ada juga pelayanan masyarakat di sekitaran kampus Ada pelayanan ke rumah sakit, panti jompo, panti asuhan, dan panti rehabilitasi Di sana kami membantu secara spiritual dan material Di sana kami mendoakan dan menguatkan serta meningkatkan kerohanian Dan ada juga nih kegiatan praktek lapangan yang dilaksanakan pada akhir semester 2, 4, serta 6 Seperti menjual buku pada tingkat 1, ekstensi pada tingkat 2, dan field school pada tingkat 3 Yang bekerja sama dengan Uni Indonesia Kawasan Barat, Sama Malaysia, dan juga negara-negara lain Keunggulan dalam bidang akademik, mahasiswa bisa diajak bekerja sama Untuk go internasional dengan melakukan penelitian bersama dosen Yang telah dipublikasikan baik nasional maupun internasional Melakukan kerjasama antar universitas yang ada di berbagai negara Fakultas Filsafat Unai memiliki dosen yang berpengalaman Dan memiliki gelar doktor serta master dalam bidangnya yang telah lulus dalam sertifikasi dosen pemerintah Keunikan yang lain, mahasiswa dapat berkuliah sambil bekerja Untuk menambah biaya perkuliahan selama berkuliah Dan yang menambah keunikan di Fakultas Filsafat Unai, kami memiliki mahasiswa yang berasal dari berbagai daerah, baik nasional maupun internasional. Memiliki alumni yang bekerja di dalam serta di luar negeri. Kemudian, mahasiswa yang berkuliah dapat terbantu dengan menerima beasiswa dari kampus, alumni, maupun pemerintah. Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia adalah tempat di mana saudara akan ditempa, dipersiapkan menjadi pelayan atau pemimpin di dalam organisasi gereja masa Advent hari ke-7. Maka sekarang dan masa yang akan datang, let's come and join bersama kami di Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia. Nah, jadi gitu beberapa kegiatan dan perkenalan tentang Fakultas Filsafat Universitas Advent Indonesia. Semua kegiatannya keren kan? Yuk join dan sampai jumpa di Fakultas Filsafat Unai tahun ini.
Oke, okay. good evening to all of us, sir, ma'am, and all of my beloved friends. Thank you for joining us in future pastor worship program, especially for our guests. We should give thanks to God for this opportunity so we can gather here, even though we distribute online platform, we distribute online Zoom meeting. My name is Dopak Sinaga. I am MC for today worship. Now we will begin our worship as the opening song, SDA hymnal number 499, 499, what a friend we have in Jesus. and griefs to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Oh, what peace we often forfeit Oh, what needless pain we bear God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Find a friend so faithful Who will all our sorrow share Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer Are we weak and heavy Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee, take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms you'll take and cheer. Opening prayer lead by Amos. Our oh, Father in heaven, let us pray. Let us pray. Our oh, Father in heaven, thank you for your blessing that you give us so that we can listening your words once again in the program. God, please send your Holy Spirit to teach and guide us how to how to understand your words that we will hear as well as those who delivered the sermon. God, thank you for hearing our prayer Forgive our sin. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's hear the special song by Raphael Tamba.
thank you for the song of praise that has been delivered. May it bring bless, blessing to all of us. Before we hear the word of God, let's sing our theme song, Karya Terbesar. Karya terbesar dalam hidupku Pengorbananmu yang selamatkanku Engkau lah harta yang tak ternilai Yang ku miliki Now let us prepare our heart and mind to listen the sermon that will be delivered by Ben Brian Robit. Good evening to all my friends and our beloved lecturers. Thank God and praise to our God we can meet again in this future pastor worship. I hope we are all in good condition and a good health. Before we listen to the word of God, I would like to invite, invite all of us to pray. Let us pray. Our most precious Father, we thank you for your bless blessing that you have given to us today. As we gather here in a Zoom meeting, we want to praise your name. Lord, we want to hear uh, your words. Please bless each one of us so that whatever we will hear tonight, we can apply it in our daily life. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, the title of God's words tonight that I will share to all of you is Listen. The title is Listen. What is the meaning of Listen? In Hebrew, hearing is called Shema. Shema. The meaning of Shema in Hebrew is to listen, to open the heart, and do what you have heard. So that is the meaning of listening in Hebrew, or listen in Hebrew. In the science of communication, humans spend more time to communicate, which is 70% in our daily life. In communicating humans, humans use 45% to listen, 30% to speak, 60% to read, and just 9% to write. As we can see here, we can see that listening is the greatest need in communication. Communication will not go smoothly or um, run smoothly without listening well. So listening, we can conclude, listening is the biggest essential or need in communication. So if you want, if you want our communication, our daily communication run smoothly, listen carefully. Because communication will not go smoothly without listening well. A world-renowned figure, Charles Spurgeon, once said that the right action starts from listening well. 
This statement, we can conclude is very true. It is very true. How do we want to do something right if we don't listen carefully to what uh, what has been commanded? Penyimpananmu. This always happen in our lectures. We always do the wrong thing because we don't listen well. We always do uh, our assignment in a wrong way because we don't listen carefully to our lecture. So we 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 all make mistake when do our assignment because of what? Because we don't listen carefully to our lectures. This is always happen in our lectures. If we refer to our Bible, we will find that in the Bible, the word listening or listen is repeated no less than 1,567 times. It was repeated so many times. In the Bible, as we all know, in the Bible, when there is one word or sentences or phrases that is often, uh, often repeated, then we know it is very important for us to implement it or apply it or, or uh, remember it in our daily life. It is very important for us. God calls his church in the book or uh, in the book in uh, revelation to listen to him god call his churches to listen to him the word of god says that the one who has an ear had better listen what the holy spirit says to the churches the call is addressed to the church at ephesus simirna Pergamus, Thyatira, Sardis, and last but not least, at the church at Laodikian. Laodikian. Or Indonesia, Laodikia. That is the church in this day and age. It is us. It is all of us here. God is calling us to listen to his voice and words. All of us must listen to his voice and words because God is calling us to listen to his voice. But the question is, why should we listen to our God? What will happen if we not listen or if we not listen, what will happen? Brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to learn from the experience of previous people that we have read in the Bible. We need to learn from the experience of previous people in the Bible. Adam and Eve fell into sin or fell into sins for not listening to the word of God. The people of Noah's day perished for not listening to the word of God. And Israel was enslaved in Egypt for not listening to the word of God. Friends, the question for us, the question for us is, do we want to repeat their mistake? They don't want to listen to the word of God and in the end of the day, they bear the consequences. Do you want to be like them and bear the consequences of not hearing or listen to the word of the God? No, we don't want to be like them. Let us see how Jesus always listened to his father's voice. Let us open our Bible and turn into Mark 1, Mark chapter 1, verse 35. It says, 
Then Jesus got up early in the morning when it was still very dark, departed and went out to a deserted place and there he spent time in prayer. Luke 5 verse 16, it says, Yet Jesus himself frequently withdrew to the wilderness and prayed. And Luke 6 verse 12 says, Now it was during this time that Jesus went out to the mountain to pray, and he spent all night in prayer to God. As we can see here, Jesus always took time to pray and talk to the Father in heaven to hear his voice in his prayer. Every time Jesus, before Jesus uh, start his ministry, before Jesus did his ministry, healing the sick, teaching the word of God to many people, he would go to a quiet and lonely place to pray to God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let take example of Jesus. We also have to always took time to pray and talk to the Father in heaven to hear His voice. We have, we have to always took the time to pray in order to speak and hear the voice of God. Let us example. Let's take the example of Jesus. Always pray every day to talk, to speak with God and hear the voice or listen to the voice of God. John 14 verse 15 says that if you love me, you will obey my commandments. If we love our God, then follow his commandment to listen to his voice. Follow his commandment is the proof that we want to listen to his voice. Follow his commandment is the proof that we are love. We love our God. If our love if we love our God, we will do or follow his commandment to listen to his voice. Brothers and sisters, in Christ. Today, what, what can I do or what we can do to listen to the voice of God? What we can do? What can I do? What can we do to listen to the voice of God? Step 1. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 70 says, Constantly, contently pray. We must pray to God every day. Take the time we have to pray to God because through prayer, we can listen to the voice of God. So brothers and sisters, let us pray to our God every day. Take time to pray, to talk with God in prayer. Step 2. Deuteronomy 5 verse 1 says listen israel to the statutes and ordinance that i am about to deliver to you today learn them and be careful to keep them after we have heard and listened to the word of god we must learn about what we have heard so that we can know and be closer to our god take time to learn or study whatever what we have uh, whatever we have uh, heard the words of god that we have heard we have uh, we have to spend our time to learn about it study the word of god so that we can know and be closer to our god step number 3 james 1 verse 22 says that but be sure you leave out the message and do not merely listen to it and so deceive yourself. God's words in the book of James teach us that after we have listened 
to and study uh, after we have listened and studied God's word we must also apply it in our daily lives apply it in our life why when we apply it in our daily life so that our life will always live in truth and righteousness we will live in truth and righteousness my friends brothers and sisters in Christ never answer like this when God call, calls us to listen when God calls us to listen never answer like this I'm too young I'm too old I want to enjoy the world I just got married I'm too busy friends never answer like this when God call us to listen there is no reason for us for not listen to God's words because why because God's words brings many blessings to us brothers and sisters in Christ I would like to share an ex uh, my experience experience of mine when I was five years old five years old um, twen uh, in December 25 2000 uh, 2005 it was a day that I will never forget in my life uh, at that time me and my family my fam my family and I returned to our hometown to celebrate the Christmas uh, with my grandparents my sibling and I I and my sibling in that day were very uh, were very happy because we received so many gifts gifts from our parents because as we all know children like gifts from their parents at that night we were very happy my sibling and i played with the toys that were al uh, were already gifted to us we play with the gift and toys until that night we were very tired and me and my siblings started to falling asleep started to falling asleep suddenly suddenly my father he heard a very loud noise coming from a room upstairs of our house at that day my father was when he see to the room my father was so shocked to see a huge fire burning in our house my father shouted calling us all to immediately run uh, immediately run out of the house because of the fire burning but but at the but at that time i was very tired and I did not hear the shouts of my father. I'm, I am so tired and I keep sleeping. Keep sleeping. When my siblings and my parents and my grandparents, they, they were all out of the house and I was the only one in the house, left in the house. I was the only one who left in the house. When they realized that I had, uh, I had not yet uh, left the house, my, father's, my father called my name and shouted, Ben, Ben, get out quickly. I woke up and I was so shocked to see the smoke around me and the fire around me. And without thinking long, I ran in out of the house and praise God, we are all safe at that day. Brothers and sisters, my friends, 
throughout this experience of mine i able to learn that if i had not listened to my father's call he shouted at me at that time perhaps i would not have been here to share this word of god to all of us to all of you friends brothers and sisters in christ tonight today in this worship we are taught to always listen to the voice of god listening to the voice of god brings many blessings to us and can save us from danger that's why my friends never ignore the voice of god to us because god's calls god's voice we have to listen to it we have to listen to it because the voice of god bring so many blessings to us never ignore when god is calling us listen to what god has said to us choose to hear or listen to the voice of god philippians 4 verse 9 says and what you learn and receive and listen and so in me do this thing do these things and the god of peace will be with you when we listen to the voice of god peace will be with all of us this is the word of god that i can share to all of you in the name of jesus amen Good evening to all of us. We are from the Faculty of Philosophy Student Association. Would like to appeal the all attendants because of the current pandemic offerings are collected after the pandemic is over and return to normal and offerings can be given to the Philosophy Faculty student members. So prepare and maintain the offerings. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Every man according as he purposes in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God love a cheerful giver. Selamat malam untuk kita semua. Kami dari Himpunan Mahasiswa Fakultas Filsafat ingin menghimbau kepada seluruh hadirin Karena pandemi yang terjadi saat ini, persembahan dikumpulkan setelah pandemi. Selesai dan kembali normal, maka persembahan dapat diberikan kepada anggota Hima Fakultas Filsafat. Jadi, mari persiapkan dan menjaga persembahan yang akan kita berikan. Hendaklah masing-masing memberikan menurut kerelaan hatinya. Jangan dengan sedih hati atau karena paksaan. Sebab Allah mengasihi orang yang memberi Dengan sukacita. 2 Korintus 9 ayat 7. Good night and God bless us. Uh, amen and thank you for the wonderful sermon by Ben Brian Robin. We are now at the end of our worship program. Let's sing the closing song. SBA hymnal number uh, 474. 474. Take the name of Jesus with you.
Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we glorify your name. Thank you for your blessing today. Tonight we have finished our worship. Helpful the words we just heard make our faith even stronger. Bless the hair, make our faith even stronger. Bless the offerings that we have given. May it help in your service. Forgive our sin. We give our life into your hands. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Today worship had ended. Till we will meet again in the next worship. May God bless. Attention to all students of philosophy faculty. Please don't leave this Zoom 